First of all, please welcome to the stage. He's undefeated, 17 bouts, 17 victories. 10 of those come in by way of knockout. Joining us from Nashville, Tennessee, he's the number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Caleb Sweethands of Plint. And his opponent, with the record of 28 wins, 23 of those coming by way of knockout, opposite two defeats, fighting out of Venezuela, originally from Venezuela, and now fighting out of Tijuana, Mexico. He is the reigning and defending IBF super middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Jose Bolivita Uscategui. This is our main event, PBC on FS1. This Sunday from the Microsoft Theater at LA Live, Uskateki and Plant for the Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Look out, look out. And the of the president of TGB Promotions, Mr. Tom after. Brown. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you had an opportunity to see the fighters, but once again, it is a pleasure to be here at the Westin here in Los Angeles as we get set for PBC on FS1. This upcoming Sunday, we go live with our main card, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific time. Prelims begin at 6.30 Eastern. 3.30 Pacific time as we have our main event, as you saw, Jose Uscatiqui putting his world championship of the world on the line against the unbeaten Caleb Plant. Tickets start as low as $50 as Sunday night's event is brought to you by TGB Promotions and Zanford Promotions. Premier Boxing Champions thrilled to kick off our FS1 season with this main event in the super middleweight division. Now, if for some reason you cannot get to the Microsoft Theater at LA Live, it is going to be an electric atmosphere. You can watch the fights on the Fox Sports app, available in English or Spanish through Fox or Fox Deportes feeds, also foxsports.com, and through many of your connected devices. Sunday night's events brought to you by TGB Promotions. And when it comes to promoters all over the world, I mean, what more can you say about TGB Promotions? Tom Brown, who has been the head, has been involved in countless historic events in boxing. And lo and behold, he continues to do an amazing job when it comes to putting these guys front and center. Please welcome the president of TGB Promotions, Mr. Tom Brown. Thank you, Ray. Well, good afternoon. I want to thank everyone for coming out for this press conference today for what I think is going to be just a sensational show Sunday night at the Microsoft Theater. Our event is presented by Premier Boxing Champions, and I want to start out and say thank you to the great team at Fox Sports. We got off to a great start last month in New York, kicking off the new PBC on Fox series, and uh, we're all very excited to be here launching the first FS1 show on, on Sunday night. I keep wanting to say Saturday night. As I said at the press conference, uh, at a press conference last week, PBC has made a major commitment to bring in some of the best and biggest fights to Southern California. We started out in December 1 uh, uh, with the uh, Wilder Fury fight down at the Staples Center. Come back here on Sunday with this great fight. And then uh, we traveled down the uh, freeway to Carson on February 9th with the uh, uh, Geronte Davis, Abner Morris championship fight. Then we come right back to the Microsoft Theater again with Leo Santa Cruz and Miguel Flores and uh, uh, Brandon Figueroa and John Molina Jr. and just a, a shootout card. 
So we've, we've made a real commitment and we, we want the fans to start supporting us. And we believe that downtown Los Angeles can be a major hub for the sport of boxing. So please come out, support this show, and let's get things moving this year in, in Southern California. Thank you very much, and I'll throw things back to uh, Ray Flores now. Thank you. Mr. Tom Brown, ladies and gentlemen, doing a magnificent job. Also, Brittany Goosen Brown, Vice President of TGB Promotions, also working tirelessly on a consistent basis as well. All right, let's meet some of the luminaries, the fighters who will be competing on Sunday, PBC on FS1. This is our main card. We will start off with, when it comes to, when people ask about up-and-coming boxers, up-and-coming fighters that you need to keep your eye on. Um, it's like if I could buy stock in this young man, I would because he's going to make you a very rich person. He has the it factor, and he's only 5-0 and with five knockouts. But I'm going to tell you this. When he fights, you better not blink because his fights go like 60 seconds or less. So that is what he does. He goes out, finishes his opponents. He's undefeated, 5-0. and All of his victories coming by way of knockout. Former number one ranked amateur, nine-time national champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Linden, Michigan, Joey Spencer. How's it going, everybody? I just want to thank Al Heyman, uh, the whole PBC crew. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out and supporting the event. Um, I couldn't be happier with how my career is going at this point. Um, I'm looking forward to putting on a show on Sunday, making everybody who hasn't seen me a believer. And I'm looking forward to putting on a lot of good shows and uh, doing my best to perform for everybody and all the fans. Thanks for everybody who supports me. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Thank you very much, Joey, as Joey Spencer, part of our main card, PBC on FS1, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific local time. Now let's get to our co-main event of the evening. This one is going to be a battle. I don't think you need however big the ring is going to be. You're going to need them only in the center of the ring, and they are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe without question. This man, 25 victories, 17 of those by way of knockout against one blemish. He's from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, former 122-pound champion, most recently having challenged Danny Roman in June for the championship. He fell, but still, he is coming back and looking to make another definitive statement. Uh, this guy throws punches in bunches. He's all action. He brings the fight to you, and he will no doubt entertain the fans on Sunday night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Moises Chuki Flores. Buenas noches, primero que nada quiero agradecer a, a, mi, promo, a mi promotor Al Heyman. Uh, before anything, I would like to thank uh, my promoter Al Heyman. A mis representantes, a, a mi familia, a mi perro y a mi gato. My, uh, I'd like to thank my team, my family, and my dog and my cat. <laughs> a todos ustedes por estar aquí, gracias. Uh, and all of you, thank you for being here. Este, estoy muy contento de regresar a los cuadriláteros y demostrarles una vez más de que estoy hecho. I'm happy to be back to the ring and uh, show you guys what I what I have in me. Me salí un poquito del camino y por eso salieron malas cosas en la pelea pasada. Tenía una lesión. I was Ahora derailed. Estoy... I was derailed in my last fight, but I made those corrections, so uh, I'm ready now. Ahora estoy al 100% y regreso para demostrarles por qué soy Chucky Flores. And I'm um, 100% now and I'm going to show you guys who Chucky Flores is. Gracias a todos por venir. Thanks for everyone coming. Also in the house, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's in the very back. He'll be a part of our prelim portion. We have Ahmed Albiali in the back, light heavyweight standout. He's going to be taking on Alan Green on Sunday. Also part of our undercard, Guillermo Rigendahl, former pound for pound uh, you know, contender. He will be in action 2016 Mexican Olympian Lindolfo Delgado and also Ryan Carl and Kevin Watts in a rematch. So a loaded prelim portion beginning at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 local time at the Microsoft Theater at LA Live. Let's meet Moises' opponent, 
on Sunday evening, PBC on FS1. This young man has a record of 17 wins, a dozen of those coming by way of knockout. He's undefeated. He's the brother of former world champion Omar Figueroa, who Tom Brown incidentally mentioned that it will be Omar taking on John Molina Jr. on February 16th, but his younger brother is looking to set the tone here in Los Angeles, having most recently knocked out Oscar Escandon on FS1 in September. Uh, he's smart, he's calculated, but he systematically breaks you down. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fast rising Brandon Heartbreaker Figueroa. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I want to thank God. You know, without God, I wouldn't be here. My father, who's the backbone of my career. Obviously, my family, who traveled all the way from Texas to come and support me. You know, all my fans, my supporters uh, from Mexico, from all over the world. You know, this fight is, is going to be a tough one. You know, I know Moses Flores, you know, he lost one, and now he's uh, training back to, to, you know, bounce back. You know, this fight is his bounce back, so... I'm 110 percent. I never fought this ready in my life. You know, I took time off, and you know, after this cut, but hey, I'm I'm back here and I'm ready to work and can't wait for Sunday. So I really hope you got all of you guys come out and support me and support all these amazing fighters that you know you guys don't see the hard work that they put in. So thank you guys for coming out here, and I, I really appreciate it. Brandon Figueroa, ladies and gentlemen, on being in action against Moises Chucky Flores. It is the co-main event of PBC on FS1 this Sunday as we begin our 2019 season on Fox Sports 1. Well, the main event of the evening. I'm smiling because I can't wait. When the boxing schedule was announced, one of the fights that I circled on my calendar was this fight. The super middleweight championship of the world is on the line. Styles make fights. You have an aggressive come forward, decorated champion in Jose Uscataki. You have a guy who feels it was his destiny to win a world title going head to head. From an odds maker standpoint, I don't know what they're saying, but this is a 50-50 fight. I know both sides are going to argue the contrary, but from a fight fan standpoint, this is a 50-50 fight. I love fights like this. Both guys are in their primes. Both guys are looking to make some noise. Let's talk about the contender on Sunday. 17 wins, 10 wins by knockout. He is undefeated, having most recently picked up a victory against Rogelio Porky Medina to become the number one contender for the IBF super middleweight crown. With, and it comes to this, this guy that's standing to my left. Nothing has ever been given to him. He's had to fight and claw for everything that he has gotten in the sport of boxing and in life in general. Nothing has been easy for him. But on Sunday night, he is trying to realize a dream that himself and his entire family and his entire camp feel it is his destiny. Please welcome from Nashville, Tennessee, Caleb Sweethands Plant. Going on. Appreciate everybody uh, coming out to support us today. Um, don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I want to thank Al Heyman and PBC. Um, all the media coming out. I thought you guys it'd be hard to, you know, get what we do and get it out to the public to have the fans that we do. Um, I want to thank my team, my head coach, Justin Gamber, um, my father, uh, Richie Plant. He's the one who started this journey. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think of something nice to say about him other than that, but I can't really think of any, so. Um, yeah, Jordan, um, my strength and conditioning coach, Larry Way, Don House. Uh, it's been a great camp. We were supposed to fight in August. Um, broke my hand in uh, July. We had to push it back, but this fight has been fought, uh, signed since June. Um, he fought in September. He said uh, the agreement was we'll give him a stay busy fight. And um, after his fight, he said that I looked bad on purpose tonight because I wanted to try to trick someone into fighting me. But there was no reason for him to say that because he had already had a fight signed since June. On top of that, if you tell the world you're about to, that you're trying to trick them, it's really no longer a trick anymore. So um, I believe that real champions don't make excuses about their performances. Not every night is going to be the, the best uh, performance of our life. 
But if we have an off night, we own up to it because that's what champions do. That's how you get there in the first place. But that's not what you did. You didn't have to trick anyone into fighting you because, like I said before, our fight's been signed since June. If he thinks I'm going to be an easy task, if he thinks I'm going to be an easy task, he's got another thing coming. For those of you who know me and know my story, I've been through things that break people. I've been through things that people don't come out the other side of. I've told many people this. I've taken many, I've taken many defeats throughout my life, but never once have I been defeated. Everything that's been handed to me, I come out the other side. Sunday, January 13th, I'll come out the other side with the IBF belt. Again, thank you guys for being here and tuning in on Sunday. And the new. Caleb Sweethands Plant, ladies and gentlemen, the number one contender. Let's meet his opponent on Sunday night. It is PBC on FS1 at the Microsoft Theater at LA Live, all brought to you by TGB Promotions and Zanford Promotions. Tickets start as low as $50. If you're in the area, make sure to purchase them at AXS.com. Now let's meet from the champion who captured the title over a stoppage victory against Andre Durrell back last March. He is originally from Venezuela, now fights out of Tijuana, Mexico. He has an exciting style, a crowd-pleasing style, and lo and behold, he's looking to take center stage and make a definitive statement against Caleb Sweethands Plant. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning and defending IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Jose Bolivita Uscategui. Bueno, primero que todos, gracias a todos por asistir aquí, ¿no? Una gran rueda de prensa, pienso que van a haber unas grandes peleas, ¿no? I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, you know, I see a lot of press here. I'm really looking forward to uh, the fight. Primero, este, agradecerle a Dios porque, bueno, me está dando esta gran oportunidad nuevamente de, de subir al ring con un buen peleador como Les Plan. Esperemos que... Todo lo que se haya dicho por parte de los dos, este, el domingo salga a reducir arriba del ring. No, este, no me gusta hablar mucho, no soy de mucho hablar, me gusta demostrar arriba del ring. I wanna, I wanna thank God for uh, this opportunity. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, showing my talent against a great fighter like Plant. Uh, I think uh, you can say whatever you want outside the ring, but we're still gonna have to get inside the ring, and that's when I do my best talking. Lo que espero es dar una gran pelea ahorita el domingo y que toda la afición mexicana y estadounidense se vayan, se vayan contentos. Gracias. I want to give them a great fight Sunday so all the fans, the Mexicans and uh, in the United States can have a, a great fight. Thank you very much, Jose Luis Uscat de Guim. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude our press conference. We are going to allow the fighters to come up for photo ops. We're going to put everyone together. This is a part of our main card. PBC on FS1 begins at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time with our main card. Prelims begin 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 local time. It all goes down at the Microsoft Theater at LA Live, brought to you by TGB Promotions and Zanford Promotions. We'll have the fighters. Oh, and now we are going to go ahead and open up the questions, or open up for questions by the media. If you have questions for the five gentlemen on the dais, or the six, with Tom Brown, the president of TGB Promotion. So if you have a question by the media, find Lisa Milner or Brittany Goosen Brown, and they will test, test. pass along the microphone. Sorry, that was totally my fault. Does anyone have a question? Caleb. Caleb Plant, um, his most notable recent opponent is uh, one of the Durrell brothers. What's the difference between you and Durrell? As much as uh, I think we'd all agree that me and Durrell have some of the same physical attributes as far as speed, reflexes, athletic abilities, things of that matter. But um, at the end of the day, anyone who knows boxing knows that me and Durrell, we don't have the same style. We don't fight alike. Um, on top of that, uh, I think he was a little bit older in his career when they fought. And um, we're not built the same. So uh, I could keep going down the list 
naming off all the things I think I do better than him, but I believe I'll be able to show you guys better than I can tell you on uh, Sunday. So, And Jose, um, prior to your fight September, people labeled you the boogeyman, like you were the most feared man at 168. What do you think that <laughs> How will you be the boogeyman? How will you bring the, your, your boogeyman presence back on the Sunday night? Dice que mucha gente no quería pelear contigo antes de que fueras ganado del campeonato mundial. Que eres el hombre más temido en la división. ¿Crees que eso es todavía cierto? Que eres el hombre más temido en la división y cómo lo piensas demostrar este domingo? Bueno, este, yo pienso que el domingo se lo voy a dejar claro, ¿no? No solamente a, a mucha gente que todavía duda de eso, ¿no? Este, voy a salir a hacer las cosas bien y a seguir demostrando que porque soy el hombre más temido en la división, ¿no? I know, I know a lot of people still have doubts about how good I am, if I'm really that good, uh, and I'm going to show them on Sunday what, what I'm capable of, and I will show them that I am the boogeyman. My question for Jose, but I need to get near his translator. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mr. Jose, um, what what propels you to be successful in this fight? Uh, Caleb has some personal challenges that kind of give him extra motivation. Do you come in the fight with some extra motivation at all? De que por qué este, esta pelea que te motiva a ti? Él viene con mucha motivación. Ha tenido muchos problemas en su vida. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que te motiva a ti para demostrar que eres el mejor boxeador en las 168 libras? El pararme todos los días a entrenar, ¿no? Este, el dejar a mi familia día a día sola, a mis hijos, me motiva todos los días para seguir adelante y, y venir a demostrarle a, a toda la gente este domingo que, que soy el mejor y es la mayor motivación que yo tengo. Yeah, the motivation of my family. I get up every morning to train. Uh, and I'm away from my family when I'm getting ready for a fight. So I look forward to showing you all the work will pay off on Sunday and to prove that I am the best. Hey, Joey, uh, you won a PPC Prospect of the Year by the fans vote. I'm just curious if that means anything to you and what your plan is this year, having fought five times last year? Well, that means a lot to me because that just shows that the fans are really riding with me. I think I got like 33% of the votes or something like that. And I was just really appreciative because that means, you know, um, my hard work's being recognized. And this year, I'm um, looking to have even more of a breakout year than last year. At the end of this year, I really want to be getting ready to enter that contender uh, space and getting ready to, you know, start to look at some titles and things like that after this next year. So, uh, yeah, that was important to me. And I'm, I'm appreciative. Brendan, I'm sure you're prepared to go the distance, but I wonder, are you looking for the knockout versus Moises? I mean, he comes really prepared. You know, he's been 12 rounds four times, and he hasn't. He's been fighting, you know, top contender fighters like Rion Diao and Daniel Roman. But you know, I've seen the fights, and none of them have really hit him to the body. And I don't think they've hit as hard as they hit him to the body. So, you know, that's my way of breaking him down. That's my game plan, break him down and, you know, try to catch him with a, either a body shot or knock him out in the later rounds. But, yes, sir. All right, thank you to the media. Greatly appreciate you guys coming out. We look forward to seeing you at the weigh-in tomorrow and then at the fight on Sunday. It's PBC on FS1, Premier Boxing Champions, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 local time. The fighters in the main card will make their way to the front and take a photo, and we'll see you at the weigh-in, and then PBC on FS1, Sunday, the Microsoft Theater at LA Live. Hey, Ricardo, how do you say boogeyman in Spanish? How do you say boogeyman in Spanish? I think uh, Caleb Plant, man, that's how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good.
Thank you for watching well if you enjoyed that clip make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from fight highlights to exclusive interviews we have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on pbc on fox